from tyrantsham.com. This is part two of showing you the best and the most affordable and cheap hosting solutions for videos. In the previous video, I showed you the free solutions or the solutions which doesn't cost you anything. In today's video, I want to show you all the solutions that I currently use in my business to host it which costs just a little bit of money and they're very cheap as well to be able to run and service. The reason why you might consider hosting videos and paying for hosted videos is if it's private membership site video information which you don't want to share with the public or maybe it's information that you don't want to be able to disclose via the videos, free video sites such as YouTube and so forth. And I, the reason why I've also got some of these is because I host really long interviews with bloggers and uh, successful entrepreneurs and so forth and I usually can't fit all those onto free servers. Okay, so have a look at Amazon Web Service which is right here and what it's called is the Amazon S3. You can see it here at this website and it's basically free or well not free, a service which allows you to host up to hundreds and hundreds of gigs of data or anything that you really want and what we've used this service particularly for is just to host videos and audios for the blog. If you've been past my blog and you've seen on my blog there's an area which you can just click on to say download mp3. You'll see here on my blog it says here download the mp3. These mp3s are all hosted on the Amazon S3 service and you can click on this anytime and you'll see that whenever you click on that link, it'll take you straight to the Amazon S3 server, which is where all the videos are hosted and all the MP3s. And it's great for those kind of things because a lot of services out there just don't allow you to host large files. All right, so jumping back into Amazon S3 web services, I just want to show you a quick brief pricing of how much it costs. And it's very, very cheap in my in my experience just from using this because the fact is is that they're, they're really giving you so much space to store a lot of things for like 15 cents per gigabyte and gigabytes are like well a thousand megs and on average my for example my my mp3s are probably around about 30 to 40 megs at most that's max so I could imagine I'd probably be able to store up to 300 mp3s before I didn't have to pay 15 cents for the mp3s so that's how cheap it is. All right, so this is what it is here. US standard, 15 gigs, 15 cents per gig, and then if you go up to 50 terabytes, it's a it's 10 cents per gigabyte after that. And this is on a monthly basis. So you can imagine I I haven't paid more than probably about three four bucks per month just to be able to have all this additional service and and hosting, and it's really really dirt cheap. All right, so this is something that I highly recommend if you want to have hosted solution for videos and also for audio as well. One other thing to mention as well, I found that Amazon Web Services just to use in general isn't very easy to use because it, it's just been designed for programmers and developers. But there's a, a really neat software that acts like an FTP client called Amazon S3 Client Bucket, which you can download here at called Bucket Explorer or the S3 Amazon Bucket Explorer and it, it does cost a little bit of money to buy this I think it's 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 not that expensive at all so I'll just click on it and I'll show you how much it costs but I bought this a while ago so I don't quite remember exactly how much it is there you go it's $50 a month or $50 once off so once you buy that you, you can use this and it acts like an FTP server which allows you to just upload all your files directly onto Amazon S3 and you pretty much just run it as though you are using like FTP server. So yeah, I highly recommend this one, Bucket Explorer, to use with Amazon S3. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is, as I showed you previously, Tube Mogul is a free service that allows you to distribute uh, videos all across the internet to multiple websites and multiple video servers. I currently use Traffic Geyser to also distribute not just only videos but also my podcasts, social bookmark and also articles throughout the website throughout the web. And this is a really really good piece of tool if you can afford to use it. It is $97 per month, but it's very very powerful once you see how it's used. So basically just follow the link that I've provided below here and you should be able to get access to the thing to Traffic Geyser if you want to use it. But I'll just want to show you a quick demo if you just jump into my Traffic Geyser account of what potentially websites you can distribute out to. It goes out to hundreds and hundreds of websites. So let's have a look here. 
For example, these are all the video websites that you can see that it goes out to. So there's 20 video websites that Traffic Geyser automatically distributes to once you've distributed it once or uploaded it once onto Traffic Geyser. Not only that, you also get podcast sites, which there are seven of them. You'll also send it out to blog sites for you, social bookmarking sites for you, or also article sites for you, and yeah, pretty much everything that you see there. It's, it's very, very powerful once you set all these up and it allows you to do quite a lot of things. But the most important part, as I mentioned previously in the first video, if you saw that, is that it allows you to get lots and lots of backlinks and allows you to move up to search engines very, very quickly as well. And that's how I successfully, every time I've created my video, I've automatically had it submitted by my virtual assistants to Traffic Geyser and sent out to all those different websites out there, allowing me to create lots of backlinks. And at the moment, I've got probably tens of thousands of backlinks coming back to tyronshum.com, which allows me to rank really well in, in certain areas of my videos. So that's something that's the last thing I'd recommend if you're looking to spend a little bit of money to host and get some affordable hosting services out here. And these things are very, very powerful and these are the tools that I currently use to host all my videos on my website or on my blog and also to distribute it across the internet. All right, that's it for this video today. If you have any further questions, any comments, or like to share this on Facebook and to tweet it, feel free to do so. I'd love to hear some of your feedback as well. Feel free just to leave your comments down below. And I hope to see you soon. It's Tyrone from tyronshum.com today. And have a great day and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.